Hey, it's Lee the Rogue Firefly here, and we are back with some of the Dreadx collection too. Now, something I wanted to say is, uh, I this is uh, like the last one I mentioned. I did record this not long after the last one, episode three, I believe. Was it three? Yeah, also, I could go through this person if I'm fast enough. Wait, let me see that. That's weird. Uh, I don't know what happened there. But, um... Unlike the second episode... Like, I thought it would be cool to, like, start off... With the, uh, menu. <laughs> but the swelling of the music there... Like, the music is good, but it's so loud. I, ju I just can't talk. I can't introduce the video. It's just... It's too loud. So, this is how I'm gonna introduce the rest of the series within the house. Rather than, uh, in the menu like the first two episodes. I, I just can't. I can't. It's gonna be more like this one and the last one. Um. So. Uh, yeah. I guess we'll get into the next game. Since... It's, I know I don't need to do that, but I like doing it. Just close the doors. Turn on the lights. <laughs> Needs... Needs some pasta, some intestines, or, um, okay, we'll play this one next. Another Late Night by Secret Cow Level. You're up late playing video games and messing around on the internet, and things take a dark turn. Okay, I like this premise so far. Very, very basic, but very nostalgic interest. I, like, I, I, I don't know. I either like it when it gets really weird, or if it's just like, you're in a house. Well, well what's the problem? You're in a haunted house, that's it, yeah. You're in your home. Mm -hmm. and there's a killer. Mm -hmm. Anything else? You know, that's it. I, I don't know, I just like those premises. I like the casual ones. Um, so... And let's get on into this play. Another late night. Oh. There we go. Don't know why it took so long. Another late night. So it's loading, I guess. Also, this is a smaller screen, similar to um, the la the final game we ended up playing for the last collection. It's a smaller it's a smaller screen where you can see the the main game screen on the outside. Um, oh, do I just? I didn't know. <sighs> Hello, player subject nine thirty three. Uh, Another Late Night is a narrative project by Secret the Cow Level, Dread X Collection Version 2, programming Justin Raynard, writing Maureen McHugh, audio Jonathan Peros, and Akshay Rashpudi, uh, um, special thanks to Ted, sexy dot, <laughs> okay, <laughs> sexy dot PNG and star, Stephen Barry, Matt Livingston, Hunter Bond, and Jonathan Invader Horowitz. Close this window to continue. Okay. Uh, my computer. Oh, hey. Haha, <laughs> are you there? I'm worried about you. Well, that was fat. You didn't give me a... What is that? <laughs> that's... That's the... That's the... <laughs> <laughs> the one dude. Oh. Four people reported missing. Game developers expected to be involved. Developer Justin Reynard and three people. Wasn't that him? That wasn't Justin Reynard sexy. <laughs> um, and three people who played his most recent game have disappeared. Reynard disappeared on the 12th, leaving his wallet and keys in his apartment. Police believe the disappearances are linked. He was an up-and-coming independent developer who has published multiple titles, including Don't Go Art. Ah, that's the one. So this is by the same people. That's why the window is so small. Uh, yeah, they're the ones who made Don't Go Out, the last game we played in the Dreadx collection, and the CCG Doom Trooper. Um, he specializes in... 
Was that the one in the Haunted PS1 demo disc? The FPS one? I don't think it is, but that it, they sound alike already, by, just by the names. He specialized in 2D games with dark subject matter. The game has been removed from stores, but has been pirated and can be downloaded online. Multiple sites describe the game as manipulative, and at least one person has reported that it might be recruiting people, although how or for what reason is not clear. The publisher, Dread XP, issued a statement saying that they were deeply saddened by Reynard's disappearance. Oh, I can't. Oh. <laughs> no, that opened a window to, uh, what? Oh, I can only minimize it. Yeah. What are my options? No, I don't. No, I don't. The game, new sound. Okay, those are actual ones. Okay. I don't want that right now. I hate Twitter, JFC. Uh, what's up, butter cookies? I search murder hornets, and there are we're all these people talking about how they're not real and how the media is trying to scare us. Well, the media is trying to scare us, but the not real shit is cray. It's just clickbait, but uh, I—it's clickbait, but they're—they are real. I just wanted to know if they're happening. I don't mean, like, if they're killing people or anything, just what is going on with them. What is going on? I don't know, because there was this threat about how the media is lying to you and manipulating you, and I don't care. That, that's a cute dog. All these tweets about Asian bugs trying to murder us, really. Everyone knows scary stuff is in Australia, not Asia. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the big spiders and drop bears and stuff. Anyways, really, and it, everyone knows scary... Yeah, oh, sorry, I said that. Everything in Oz wants to kill me. Yeah, spiders, magpies. I just found out they're tearing my, down my old high school. At Sense of Luminous. What are people do, going to do? They built a new one. They were going to use the old one as a jun as the junior high, but oh, as the jun wait uh as the junior high. But there was some reason why they didn't. Gotcha. It's just weird. It's like a part of history disappearing. <laughs> it, it just sucked anyway. Lol. Here's my dog sitting on a stool. She's so weird. She wouldn't jump up. I think she's getting fat. So we got a stool for her. Channels moderated, do you not have permission to ch that? Is that me and my girlfriend playing with the cat? Is that the cat right there? Okay. <sighs> Untitled. The defibit. Oh, please don't be any. Like, I'm gonna have to cut if there's something bad. Rat. 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 That's a chonky rat. <laughs> okay. Hunter. Mm hmm. Hunter. Hunter. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's a That was that one. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Stationary and brine. Sorry. Stationary and brine, their eyes lining the edge of their lips, sensing light and darkness. They contemplate the deep. They do not taste the salt of the water, do the water, do clams, no water? 
you know more or less than we know the air, but they taste their fellow clams. They taste the green taste of kelp and the richness of phytoplankton. Their cilia beat, 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 drawing water through their siphon and through their gills. They taste sulfur, a luscious and yellow. Something dark passes over, and they close and stick out a foot, muscular as a tongue, to burrow and pull themselves into the sand. But the shadow is gone, and there is light again as filtered as the sulfur, and they slowly open like flowers. They speak chemical traces on the water. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I know you, I know you, I know you. They feel the pulse and the beat of the clams around them. Taste their signatures. They are a choir of chemistry. Feel, feel, feel. Taste the tang of something ripening. Clams ripening in the embryonic brine. A, qu uh, a quickening taste. A taste, a taste, a taste. Me too, me too, me too, then taste, then a taste like blushing, deepening, richer and richer, rosier and rosier, although there are really no colors. It is all just an approximation of senses no mammal has. They are in harmony, growing riper and riper until they cannot get any fuller with expectation. But it isn't time yet. It's really like the periods are too close and they have an extra space with, I think, with the, no, with the, those are too close, it's so weird, uh, hard shell, but inside so soft, so full, too much, too much, the choir sings, harmonies rising, building, and then one clam lets go, like breathing out white smoke, and all the clams breathe out white smoke, then they rest, the sun goes down, and the sea goes dark. They do not taste the sea, but they taste the creatures in the sea. They taste each other's thoughts. They live in the darkness, calm, while they take the restless water and move it through themselves, meditative and at one with each other and the water. Read me. Another... Oh, that's... Okay, so that's it. Copyright. Trip bells. Okay. Videos unknown. No.
is from the cow guys, yeah? Why is there a skull? Even the clams. Support your local indie game developer. Because that has something to do with this, right? These guys? And no, I don't think that's the game I was thinking of. I wonder what that game is, though. Hmm. Let me see if I can figure this out. Uh, okay, so I think I figured out what I need to do. Um, this next page, I forgot it was multi-page. If you're, also, if you're wondering what this is, no, it's not actual prawn. <laughs> if, you know, um, I made sure. It's just more pictures of this goober. Well, aren't you very fool yourself, Mr. Sexy.png? Goodness. <sighs> well, this is just page one. Hey, you know this game is really screwed up. I don't remember how we got here either. Don't worry, I won't leave you. If you want to press enter to get... Uh, okay, okay. Right, this page two? No. Uh, the game is a psychological thriller exploring dark themes. Rumors are that it's also a recruiting tool for, recruiting tool for a cult-like group that uses sites that experts call Chan boards. These chans, like the now defunct 4chan and 8chan, are the frontier of social media places where there are no laws and posters can find others who share views uh, which are not mainstream. These sites can also be home to white supremacists and other hate groups and to groups that would not be tolerated on Facebook or Instagram. Users claim that they are also places where anonymity uh, allows real freedom of expression and that people can share suppressed information. Key. Oh, okay. You got your internet straightened up. What a relief. Hey, are you okay? I mean, it's okay if you weren't. You're not. It's as if the world was screwed up. Do you want to talk about it? I'm here. It's uh, like my job right now. I really care. Uh, do you really, do you want to talk about it? I'm here to listen. It's like my job right now. I really care. Let's talk about what's bothering you. Which is worse for you? Climate change, school shooting, pandemic. When was this game made? Uh, I guess the pandemic. It's not that big a deal, right? It's like the flu. Young people don't get that sick, but it's weird all the people in masks and stuff, not knowing what's going on, going to happen or how long. Again, you're going to be okay. It sucks for some people, and it really, you know, that's a big deal, and I love. I'm not just. Because I know. This had to be released earlier in the year. But that would mean, like. Dreadx 2 and 3 were like really close to each other. So that seems odd and odd. Or maybe it was like at the right, like right at the beginning of the pandemic, like in the, the winter of last year. I, mm hmm. No, really. Not like. It's going to be really. Screw the gun. What about other diseases? Like other. No, maybe there was another flu. I think there was another flu that people. There, uh, that was going around for a while. School debt. What What if you end up without a job? What if the whole economy blows up? Rich people will be fine. Good news. Fewer people die of heart attacks during the Great Depression because of heart attacks are a lifestyle disease. When you can't get enough food like meat and stuff, you don't get heart attacks and diabetes. So you may be living in a dumpster, but your cholesterol will be great. You could do it. Live homeless. Scrounge for you. Do a uh, hitafa. You need to do right. I'd watch your back. If you're going to die anyway, do you want to die early while things are still pretty good, or suffer through? Oh, die anyway. G 
Triple Duke. No, it's Triple Duke. His game was super cool, super retro. I don't play it, bummer. Is there an article working for any of you back up yet? Nope, not me. Nope, everyone. Good at turn up prices. Weird. I'm just trying to read the end. Someone found this on Reddit. It's pretty weird. Uh, 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 Billy Hogs 402. Damn it, he's already gone. Uh, what the? WT, the link removed by moderator. WTF? Yeah, I don't want to see that. Uh, 16 Wisconsin, you? Me neither. Sorry. You don't post that shit in here. I removed your link. Sorry, I'm just trying to see what happened. Looks like it's back up. Performing an online video game called okay. Um, These sites are often places where fringe and extreme, group, extreme groups recruit new members. Even the president, during a recent press conference, was quoted as saying we must stop the glorification of violence in our society. This includes the gruesome grisly video games that are now commonplace. It is too easy today for troubled youth to surround themselves with a culture that celebrates violence. We must stop or substantially reduce this, and it has to begin immediately. Want to hear a story? I played the game. How did it go, you asked? I don't know. I know you asked because I'm you. I'm a part of the digital yourself that sometimes you don't listen to. It's okay. Not as good as some of the other games I've played. So get this. I'm playing and I get a text from my phone. It's from my friend and he's also played the game. You want to hear this? You sure? My friend asks how far I am in the game. He says it's not getting anywhere. Then he says, oh wait, just keep going. Trust me. I trust you. At first it feels like I keep getting stuck. I almost quit. Then I get it. Get what? I don't care. What the crap is this game? What is this article? Just keep playing, you'll get there. You're not a quitter, are you? Are you okay? Are you? How many things did you say you were going to do and then and you started but you never finished? Exercise. Are you saving enough money? Did you complete your work? Is your <laughs> what does it say about you? How often do you know you should do something but you watch TV or play a game like this? But right now your job is to finish this game, right? Because you believe in follow, follow three. You don't just quit. I'm not a quitter. My friend and I can text a couple times. He says, keep going. I text him and something really weird just happens. He doesn't answer. It's late. I call him. A woman picks up. I don't know her. F friend of you. Friend of your friend? Wrong number. No, I mean, she doesn't know my friend. She's the game developer's wife and she's upset because it's the middle of the night. She asks how I got this number. She asks if I'm a friend of Justin. She starts to cry. She hangs up on me. Do you get it yet? What is this game about anyway? What the hell is going on? Why are you talking to me? Who the hell are you anyway? I'm you, huh? Had you? No, you didn't. What? This game is about finding yourself, about opening your eyes. You can lie to other people, but you can't lie to yourself. Uh, what have you done? Are there parts of yourself that you've blocked? Oh, I don't think so. How would you know? What if I could show you things that you did that you don't remember? Sure. Have you ever tried hypnosis? Mm. No. That shit's not for me. Have you ever tried hypnosis? Deja vu. Being hypnotized is one of the best experiences ever. I was in a trance I could feel and see and hear, but I just didn't care. It was better than anything. Okay, this is weird. Have you ever heard voices? No, wait. Hear me out. Have you ever been half asleep or something and you thought you heard someone's voice? Maybe someone like your grandmother. No, I mean, but kinda. Or have you ever been somewhere and thought you heard someone call your name? Or... Our brains are strange. That's how it starts. Does this game hypnotize people? Wait, but you're not real. <sighs> yeah. I'll never lie to you. It's not good to be isolated. I'm just keeping you company. You shouldn't play this game at night. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Does this game hypnotize people? People can only be hypnotized if they want to be. I don't... If some people are more susceptible to hypnosis, if the bottom of the iris of your eye doesn't go all the way to your bottom eyelid, if you've got a little white crescent of white under it, people who do are more susceptible to hypnosis. They are more likely to have ecstatic religious experience. Have you ever had something like that? You know, repression works right up until it doesn't. Then you might do something you don't intend to. You might break. You might... Snap. 
It is time. What have you done? Calling the cops? Are you are you there? Dude, I just heard what have you done? Yeah. Okay. Okay, it's almost done. Final three questions, and then it's done. Are you ready? Questions. Yeah. Question one. Have you ever wet the bed? Um, hmm. Well, I'm gonna answer honestly. I don't think I have. Question two. Have you ever hurt or felt the desire to hurt another living? Uh, not really. Final question. Do you ha have a strong interest in lightning things on fire? Maybe. Oh, you're asking if I'm a serial killer, right? Okay. Mm. We're an old house. No. Thank you. And probably your response has been recorded if necessary based on psychological profile. Foundry agents have been dispatched to your residence. Otherwise, you will be activated when required or skill set. Thank you for participating in a simulation secret catalog and close the window to exit the test. You <laughs> okay, that's random. He's just been uh, he's been found. Game developer Justin Reynard has been found. Police say that they still are still investigating, but that Reynard was apparently abducted by people who believe that the game Another Late Night what we're playing <laughs> allowed them to contact with others who could, in the words of their manifesto, see the world as it really was. Police refused to speculate on why Reynard was abducted, but an anonymous source said that the group suspected him of withholding information. Reynard was hospitalized overnight for dehydration. He has since been released when the alleged abductor is in custody. Several others are still sought. Thank you for playing. Feel free to click around. Is that really it? Wait, it doesn't just end? Hmm. Guess not. I'll be right back. I'll let you guys know if uh, there's actually uh, anything else to this. Well, it seems like that was actually it for that game. Hmm, that was fast one. Congratulations. You're one third of the way to preventing your brain from being turned into an incomprehensible mess of randomly reassorted neurons. Uh, and so far, you've got no obvious outward mutation. interesting also if you're worried that maybe it's like whoa, that was a little because there were some questions that I'm like whoa that was like a little too close to but that was actually during a different pandemic I didn't know there was a pandemic that didn't take uh, I guess a smaller pandemic that took place not too long ago uh, I kept hearing references about it elsewhere but I, I, I didn't know a flu of some sort so not as big as this, obviously, but still pretty big. I, I didn't remember it, I guess, but, um, but it seemed, you know, but, um, but then when they started asking me the serial questions, I'm like, oh, okay, this isn't very convincing. You were, you were hitting close to home, and then I'm like, okay, yeah, no, no, I don't kill animals for fun. I don't pee the bed. I don't burn stuff. I, I'm, yeah. I mean, those, that's obvious. I, I heard that when I was, like, 14. It's like, well, if you do these, you might be a serial killer. I'm like, okay. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no. Um, but, I mean, the plot was pretty interesting. Um, but I don't know what really the point of it was. It's cool, I guess. Um, I, I wish it was a little more like this. That's what I was thinking it was going to be by the cover art. I thought it was going to be more like, like moving around like this.
this and maybe a bit of that computer stuff, but uh, um, still not too disappointed. I, I, I like the game enough. Um, also, I guess, uh, watching another person's video on it uh, quickly before I came here, um, I guess all those pictures of that dude wasn't of that dude, I guess. From what they said, it seemed to be all the developers, and if those are a bunch of different, completely different dudes, like all different dudes who worked on this game rather than one dude, uh, you guys look a lot alike, and that's a bit scary. <laughs> but that might that might be just the same dude, um, which um, you know that, that was that was kind of funny. That's uh, my research full. <laughs> uh, um, so <sighs> yeah, uh, I like that game, and I guess next time. Uh, which I might record right after this, but I don't know. I guess we'll do this one right here. Hmm. Uh, oh. Yeah, we don't have many games. I hope these other ones are pretty promising. I know of this one. <laughs> I'm gonna... Uh, <laughs> so... Yeah. If you don't know before I go, uh, if you don't know what this one is, I saw people play this and they were kind of confused at, well, it's like, you have all these, especially from the previous one you had, I mean, they're all very creative and intuitive in their own specific ways, um, you know, uh, they always take a different art style, a uh, different style to, uh, horror, but, you know, this is very different than what I think, I mean, unless you're specifically looking for a game like this, um, it's not as hardcore, like, at all, but this is kind of in the similar vein to Doki Doki Literature Club. Uh, but it's a Cthulhu, uh, woman. <laughs> it's a dating sim. Uh, short-form dating sim. It's, uh, kind of funny. Uh, <laughs> I'm a little paranoid to play it, but, you know, I think I'll still enjoy myself anyways and kind of get a laugh out of it. Um... I don't know what my peers will say, but, you know, it's, uh, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, I enjoy, I'm enjoying this game so far. I like the way they've set up, uh, this specific, um, I, I hope the next game really ups the ante with this. And, like, I, I think I said that in the, no, I said that in the first episode of the original playthrough that I was trying to do, but then got corrupted. But, uh, what I was saying is, I, I really think this is cool, the way they presented this one. It's a really big improvement from, like, a huge improvement from the last one. I hope, I like the whole pu pu puzzle-solving aspect of it. This kind of, um, and I hope they up the ante on the next one, but if they don't, I'm going to, um, specifically, uh, write an angry tweet to each and every one. No, I'm just kidding. Um, uh, I, I wouldn't actually mind if they just go back to the regular interface. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind either way. I, I think whatever they do, as long as they make entertaining uh, side games, like the ones I've been playing, um, I'll be, I'll be satisfied. So, um, so far, I'm really enjoying this. I really, really am. This is a really good game. So, this, this is really good so far. I, I would say. Um, I don't know if the games are a huge improvement from the last one. I haven't played them all so far, so we'll have to see. I mean, I really do enjoy them, but I'm not sure. Like, I'm not a very critical person, so I can't, like, compare Apple to Oranges or whatever. Um, but, um, so far, this, the, the, the main, this, is, uh, better than the last one. So, um, yeah. I guess so. In this video, sorry for giving you uh, such a long-winded explanation. I want to draw this video out a little, just just a little longer, because that was such a short game. So, anyways, I uh, hope you all enjoyed this video, um, and uh, I guess like comment and subscribe, uh, share with your friends if you find these kinds of videos interesting, and uh, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.